Are you excited before going on stage? Of course. I'm totally nervous, you know. That's the only way to get your adrenaline going also. To enhance the performance. So of course you have to be nervous and excited and tremble like a kid or whatever, you know, before the first um, ride in uh, whatever. Did you already see something for Dendor? Not this time. We just came in here like one and a half hours ago. And uh, I took a shower and then we came here. You know, so. But you stay two days, or? Hmm? You stay two days, yeah? You stay yeah, with tomorrow's day off, so. Let's see what happens. Probably be sleeping the whole day. Uh huh, of course. Can you say something in German? Uh, no, not really. They're, the only lines I know, they're really dirty. They're really dirty. Too dirty to mention, so. Hey, oh, great! Cool. <laughs> yeah, you can speak German. Next. Uh, <laughs> Last time you have played. <laughs> in, <laughs> yeah. Last time you have played in little clubs here in little marks and in Lobo, mm -hmm. 100, 200 people. So yeah. now yeah. play in a concert sold out, yeah. 1,500 people <laughs> there. What kind of a feeling is it for you to play for so many people? Well, it's kind of nice. Uh, that, uh, that kind of. That big venue, it's good that you usually have really good stage sound, you have really good PA systems, you, the whole thing is working technically at least, and uh, it's not too big. <coughs> We've been playing venues like that in Finland in a couple of years and stuff like that, so it's kind of, it's not that strange, but it still, it is a bit weird that the thing happens so fast in here, you know, no. no, it's, you know, places are sold out and, uh, you know, really big places, yet to come. Like Berlin is going to be really, really big. So it's, it's, that's strange. I think so. Um, how is it for you? There's so many hysterian kiddies there <laughs> the, in front of stage and. and um, well, like teddy bears, you know. So <laughs> yeah, <okay>. right. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I used to be a teenager myself, you know. I used to be hysterically. Uh, liking bands like Kiss and stuff like that. So <laughs> I don't have any problem with it. It's nice, you know. Teenagers are human beings as well. <laughs> yeah. We will hear tonight also some songs from the greatest love songs ever. It's like half and half. So. Yeah. For example, it's all tears. Oh uh, yeah, no, 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 maybe. maybe. <laughs> Another we question. Playing, yeah. Why did it's all tears end in such a strange way? Oh, in the album. On the album. We wanted to have that kind of feeling that everybody would think that the CD is broken or whatever. Oh. You know? <laughs> so we did loads of tricks in the studio to do that. Because we didn't want to have a fade out. Yeah. And we didn't know what to do with the song you know, at the end. So we had to invent something and that was the best thing we could come up with. You know? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> You know, Villa, when you just came down, there was a girl, a fan, yeah. kissing Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, Great. No, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Another question. Playing, but, yeah. Why did It's Our Tears end in such a strange way? Oh, in the album. On the album. We wanted to have that kind of feeling that everybody would think that the CD is broken or whatever. Oh. You know? <laughs> so we did loads of tricks in the studio to do that. Because we didn't want to have a fade out. Yeah. And we didn't know what to do with the song you know, at the end. So we had to invent something and that was the best thing we could come up with. You know? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> You know, Villa, when you just came down, there was a girl, a fan, yeah. kissing you. Yes, what about that? What kind of feeling is that? I mean, that well, uh, women you have never seen before. Mm, uh, well, she's still here, you know. It's good. Well, apart from the kisses, it's okay. She's still there. How would you like if somebody, <laughs> somebody totally a stranger, came to you and gave you a kiss on the cheek or whatever? It's, um, well, uh, that's the that's the way of losing your privacy. You know what I'm I don't mind. I don't mind. You don't. I like kissing. And kissing. <laughs> <laughs> but not from not from him. You know, people in Germany they say you're so sexy. That's oh, what I no. heard. Yeah. Do you think? Don't look at me now. Oh. Swollen. <laughs> 
you think yourself you are a kind of well, sex symbol? No, no, no. That's some, something the media is creating. You know? I don't have anything to do with it. Either. It's nice if some people like my appearance, but, but it doesn't have anything to do with the music or, or the things why we started this thing. So. I don't know. It's funny. But you don't mind? Well, don't mind. It's kind of, I don't mind, but it doesn't really affect anything. It doesn't affect my everyday life at all. So, would I be not a sex symbol or, or to be? Well, to be or not to be? That is the question. Whatever. How did your family get along with your success? My family. Yes. Uh, Can your father still work in his job? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, um, and it's been okay, you know. they're really proud of me and giving all the golden discs to them and stuff like that. Got a brother. Yeah, a little brother, yeah. yeah. And I bet he's going to be your bodyguard? <laughs> yeah, probably someday, he's really athletic, so... Now you toured in, in Europe. Um, you toured next time in America. I don't have a clue. Toured because it's such a different place. The American, the Americans, they're right. different. Same way, same way, for example, UK, uh, England. So it's, I really don't know. And it, it's all depending how well the record is received and, and how, um, how much the record companies like the record. Because that, of course, that means that if they love the record, they will work on it really hard. And anyway, it's business. So we just made the record, but we can't do anything but exit touring and stuff like that. It's all about you know promoting and advertising and stuff like that that people get to know us. Was Jamie not a hit in America? No, it's not being released yet in America. No. Because yeah. it's, um, it's a song from a movie. Yeah, a certain yeah, but, uh, but, yeah but nowadays the movie scene is quite strange in a way that, that uh, Joan was only for German speaking countries. The rest of the Europe was a different song. And then in America, a different song and different arts. So it's everywhere, it's a bit different. Right. Unfortunately. It would have been nice to have that song. Do you like going to cinema, or what are you doing in your free time? <laughs> I hate cinema. Actually. You hate cinema? Yeah, I don't like them at all. You know, my bladder is so small that I always have to go to pee, and and, uh, and uh, you can't smoke, at least in Finnish cinemas. And, uh, and I hate people, you know, <laughs> rattling with their you know, candy, or whatever boxes or whatever, just for you know, hissing. It's not a lot nicer to rent a video and watch it at home. You can see the best but you can see the best vampire movies in cinema. Best vampire movies in cinema. Can't you see them at home? No, it's impossible. <laughs> well, uh, I've seen enough vampire movies. We used to watch them a bit too much when I was a kid, you know. Which is your favorite song playing on stage? Mm. Uh, we haven't been playing new songs so many times that they're kind of like still evolving and changing a bit and you know, so they're all nice, they're all nice. I can't remember what songs do we have. Razor Blade, Razor Blade Kiss, that's nice. Songs play. Uh, right here in my arms is nice. I like I like the fast rockers. They're nice. But they're all nice, you know. Anyway, there are songs so we tend to love them all. I think most of the fans hope that you have published Gone with a Silly. Let's see what happens. Mm. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. It's really great. I think uh, for me. <laughs> uh, you want me to <laughs> Let's see what happens. Your favorite song? <laughs> yeah, what a favorite song, yeah, of course. Let's get one. Yeah, I don't know. So, how much are you smoking? <laughs> too, <laughs> too much. Too much. Anyway. I, I don't calm to them all. That's life. That's life, yeah. I smoke that much that I can't afford to buy myself new clothes. So all my money goes into cigarettes. That, that, that's quite a lot, really. It's like three packs a day, so. 
What about other drugs? Like, I mean, I heard you love red wine, right? Uh, well, good red wine is good, yeah. But I, I love good beer as well, you know. I like, I I like alcohol like in general. I would say, I'll go see that. And smoking pot sometimes? No, I don't like it at all. Actually, in my teenager years, I've tried it out a couple of times, but it um, ruins my voice completely. It dries out the vocal cords, so I can't sing when I'm on pot. That's the reason. I don't do it anymore. And anyway, I have asthma. It's not good. Smoke, smoke <laughs> so, smoking regular cigarettes, that's enough for me. When did you start smoking? I can't remember when I was um, about, say, 14, 13, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, the same thing as we perform, we kind of the whole thing's developing, you know, it's going further step by step, you know. And we don't know, it's not like changing anything drastically. Like, it's like about small changes. And, and, uh, let's see, I don't want to look like Marilyn Manson anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> let's see what happens in the future. People react to a special look, you know, I mean, if you dress your hair in a special way or your face. Or yeah, of course, but, you know. The coolest guy is the guy who looks like shit, but still gets all the attention because his song starts so good, you know. So that's the way I'm trying to do it. You know? Get a big, big beer belly and uh, big bear and be the Jimbo, you know, like 19, uh, 19, uh, 69 about. It's easy to attract attention with the looking funny. I could do whatever, you know, paint my face white and rip my other eye out and be completely naked. Of course, that would really be interesting, but not for long. Sticking out, thinking, thank you, beef <laughs> It was it was very strange, you know. Anyway, it was like you know, it's a old, really old song. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's a really old song. It's a song that changed your life. It changed the career of him probably at least a bit. So 